Hi, my name is Andrea and this is my partner Matt and we're here, here to demonstrate a stretch at the hospital bed transfer uh, via a sheet. Uh, first thing that is most important is communication between you and your patient. So telling them what you're about to do and, and making sure that they're comfortable. Second thing that's important is communication with the team and so I'll be demonstrating how I communicate with my team member. Uh, third thing is preparing the stretcher. So we're going to bring the hospital bed to the appropriate height, drop the 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 D bars. Uh, unfasten the patient and have it so it's matched up um, a little bit higher than the hospital bed so we have a bit of a downward slope. Uh, third thing that is most important is if this patient was a little bit larger I might or then maybe they had some edema in their legs I might have somebody assist with the legs to um, include patient care and minimize the amount of pain that they might feel in the, during the transfer. Uh, if they had O2 I'd, I'd plug the O2 to avoid the tooth from being um, um, tangled in with the, during the move. And um, I'm making sure that I have a feel of my partner's grip on the other side of the sheet just before we do the transfer. So first things first, can you prepare the cost of the transfer? And I'm going to lift the stretcher up <clears throat> to the appropriate height. How are you doing, Elise? Good, thanks. Comfortable? Yep. Yeah, so we're just supposed to move you over onto this bed, okay? Really fast. Here, so the bed is locked, okay, the D-bars are down, and I'm going to ask Matt to push, push the stretcher up against the hospital bed to make sure it's straight. Yeah. Match. The full power position there. And you can, um, um, we can go, yeah, down up. Are you feeling any discomfort anywhere? No? Okay. We're just going to bring it over. <coughs> So sometimes if the reach is too long and to save your back, you can get up on the bed. I feel pretty confident not doing that, so I'm just going to do this one from the floor. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a good grip on the sheet here, and I'm going to ask Matt if he feels my tug. Yep. You feel my pull? <clears throat> so we're getting rid of any extra fabric underneath you see here. So we have a bit of a sheet bridge going across these two surfaces. So I'm pulling, so I'm leading the pull. So I'm going to communicate with my partner. And are you ready? All right. All right. So we're going to go on three. And one, two, and three. And Lisa is now on the hospital bed. How are you doing, Lisa? Good, thanks. Good. Check in with the patient, make sure they're comfortable. And, um, and then prepare your bars up. Is this high to safety? Really? Looks like it could go up a little bit higher. Okay. Actually, can I? We're going to demonstrate also too how to bring the patient up. Okay. So we're going to bring Lisa up a little bit. So keep our down and just go side to side. Same thing. Let's just bring her up a bit because she slouched down. So just grab yeah, this way. We're going to slide her up a little bit on my knee. One, yep. two, and three. There we go. A little bit better? Yes. Yeah, good. And keep our up. And then we're going to stretch your hospital bed transfer.